All right, guys. Well, welcome. This is Barney Kunze, uh, founder and creator of the Wild Success Summit, and also uh, your fellow uh, leader and very passionate Canadian Young Living Essential Oil independent distributor from Canada. If I didn't already mention, I am a gold leader and working on platinum, and um, I am very excited to be on the call to, with you guys tonight. We have a very special uh, guest, one of the presenters who was featured in our second year, the second round of the um, summit. And uh, it's been quite a successful event, and uh, so far we've been able to, I've uh, been blessed uh, and very grateful to be able to serve over 40,000 of our fellow Young Living Independent Distributors uh, from around the world. And I've noticed that a trend, um, maybe not necessarily a trend, but uh, some other things, some patterns, I guess you could say, emerging in the last little, last couple months. A lot more, you know, Facebook Live events that are coming up. Um, other sessions that Young Living is doing now with with recording and providing more training online. And even though that the trainings are available, the one thing that still remains the same that will never uh, fall on the wayside is it doesn't matter how much we have for uh, available training or um, material available to us. It doesn't matter how much knowledge we have. It, it really matters how much we're actually going to apply. So tonight, I'm really excited to uh, share with you guys and get more in depth with uh, our guest, Jacob Adamo. Jacob is um, an amazing leader. Him and his wife, uh, Sarah, have been building Young Living uh, for years, and I'm going to let him just tell his Young Living story a little bit so that you guys can have a better idea and uh, the ability to connect with him um, and if you don't know what he's doing and what he's done with his personality colors, um, with the training, he's working on something really exciting, which we're going to explain a little bit more to you. So I really want to encourage you to make sure you stay till the end of the call. Uh, by the way, this is about a 60 minute call, uh, but I have a feeling it's probably going to lean more towards 75 minutes, but we are going to, um, go into a little bit more of the detail and Jacob rather is going to, uh, just a little bit about his presentation and how some different ways that you can use. Um, his training and it's going to be interactive so me asking some questions and then we're going to open up the lines and um, you can use the chat box so I just want to make sure to cover the the house uh, keeping items as we continue on here um, is that you can use the chat box when you want to ask a question because um, I we don't want to take the risk of having everybody unmute themselves at the same time, uh, but we can at the end of the call and say goodbye to everybody. Uh, but just make sure you comment if you have a question and you don't want to, or if you're in an environment where you can't unmute yourself, you can just comment and put your question in there and we'll do our best to answer it. Or you can say, I'd like to jump on the call quick and uh, I'll unmute you. So without further ado, Mr. Adamo, are you still with us? Yep, I am here. Thank you, Barney. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this, looking forward to diving into this a little bit deeper. I have a passion for people and for personality types. It's always been something that uh, interested me uh, since I was young. When I was in college, I got the opportunity to do door-to-door -door sales for two summers, which a lot of people were like, why on earth did you do that? You're crazy. Um, I honestly did it to challenge myself to see that if it was something that I could live up to, if it was something that I could do. But I will tell you one thing is, if you're going to go door to door and you're your own boss and you're setting your own time and you're setting your own schedule, um, when you look in the mirror, you're looking at your worst enemy right there. You have to master yourself first. <laughs> and then then you dive in. You're going to experience meeting uh, all kinds of different individuals. And throughout that, time period, I think that kind of set the foundation for me looking into personality types. So my story with Young Living um, is, is kind of a, it's, it's probably a typical one actually. My wife got involved with the oils. Um, it was a time when our family wellness was not what it should have been and, and she was looking for ways to, um, you know, to boost things and bring us back to where we were naturally supposed to be. And uh, so <laughs> she started looking into things, and she bring, brings home, a, you know, a friend with these oils. And all I could think was, you know, snake oils. Great. Um, it happened at a time when I was, I happened to be unemployed. So us getting into the business um, actually was kind of happenstance. It, it happened later, but we we actually bought the the old basic kit. Um, which was, you know, like 40 bucks or whatever, just so that we could get the, the discount on on the oils. And I kind of, that was that's my fault. 
um, I led with that, and I was just like, all right, you know, here's what you can do right now with where we're at. And we started using the oils, and we started seeing the amazing benefit in our family with the oils. And at that point in time, I realized, you know, this was a this was a mistake. <laughs> I should have, I should have definitely sprung for the the better kit and gotten all this because we ended up buying the diffuser and all the extra stuff and everything. Well, long story short, we start uh, using the oils on a regular basis, and all of a sudden there's questions coming from friends, family. You know, what is that smell? What do you got going? What is this? How can I get it? Um, and so we found ourselves at a point where we didn't understand, you know, even how to sign somebody up. We had to figure that out. So we found out how to sign somebody up, and uh, the rest is history. I mean, we began to move forward, and and all of a sudden, one day, I come home, and she has this check, and she shows me this check, and I look at it, and I'm like, I'll be darned. That's the first time I've ever seen, you know, money come from just sharing something with somebody. So that kind of lit both of our brains up, and we started looking for ways to um, improve the business and keep it growing, uh, and then the day came... Um, when I was at work, we had just hit silver, which um, is not you know totally prestigious income, but it's a great it's a great place to be at. Um, we had hit silver, and and I came to work, and my boss wanted me to do something um, unethical, and I refused. I told him I'm not going to do that, you know I'm not going to lie, um, and uh, so I was handed a, a choice. You either do what I say, or you walk away from this job. And I, wa I walked away from the job. Uh, my keys hit his desk, and I walked out. And I called Sarah, and I said, "Honey, we need to make this thing work fast because I just left my job." And you know, she knows my character well enough to know why I left, and there was no issue there. But we both dove into looking at our young living as a business at that point and built as fast as we can and we're now actually gold and pressing platinum in the next couple of months here and absolutely loving the journey uh, but that was our introduction to Young Living it was definitely not a not a smooth one it was, <laughs> it was definitely kind of rough and it was full of, of peril but we both love the opportunity that it gave us to be together um, we have seven children and we homeschool so being able to be home with my seven children has been huge. So when we started that journey, um, I began to look at this team building thing and realized that there are a lot of different, uh, same as same as going through the door. I was encountering a lot of different individuals with different personalities. And when you're running uh, this type of business. I just unmuted myself, so hopefully um, I can keep going here. But um, so, in a in a team building aspect, I realized very quickly that we had multiple personality types in there, and learning how to communicate with them was going to be absolutely essential. So I started looking at what I had learned from my door-to-door -door sales days, and started you know, paying attention to what different people's communication styles were. And I remember specifically one night, uh, we were listening to a young living leader who was a, oh goodness, either silver or gold at that time that I, that I heard this broadcast. It's been years ago, and now I think she's a crown diamond. But she referred to her business as a blue business. And she's like, that's my personality type, I'm blue. And it lit my brain up. I thought that's such a simple way to to qualify it, you know, with the colors. So I started looking into this, and I realized that there were the four colors that they were talking about: the you know, uh, red, blue, green, and yellow. And so I looked at uh, several different resources that I could get my hands on to understand exactly how they paired the colors up. What I saw was a lot of information on identifying the different personality colors. But what I was what I didn't see that I had learned in my door to door sales stuff was how to speak to each one of those colors. Like what what is the difference in communication styles when you're talking to a different personality type? So that that sparked my interest. I started writing notes as we were talking about our team and talking about how we built 
and I assembled all those notes. And long story short, when I actually ended up quitting my job, um, it was, I believe, 14 days before convention 2014. And so I wrote that first book, Full Spectrum Success, in 14 days. Granted, I had, I had, and if any, you know, you guys don't know me, but you should have seen my desk. It was literally covered in sticky notes because that's, that's how I roll. Most people like use a notebook or use like a digital format to put in their notes. I'm I'm old school. I love those 3M, you know, little sticky note memo pads, you know, the three inch ones. So I, I was writing all over those and they were stuck all over my desk. And so I took those, compiled them, you know, organized them, wrote the book, got it. I actually shipped the proof of the book to Utah where we were staying. Um, so that's when I got the proof of the book. But it was a it was a fast paced journey, but an excellent eye opening journey because I realized that this was something, you know, over the next couple of years as I as I exposed people to this and started speaking, started teaching. I realized that this was something that a lot of people wanted, a lot of people needed to understand that connection between the different personality types. And so my second book that is coming out, and I'm sure we're going to talk about this more, Barney, but uh, is Full Spectrum Freedom. And that dives even deeper. It's a much more in-depth book, a little bit longer, actually twice as long as the first, but it, it is it is the birth child, if you will, of all of the questions that I have continuously uh, been asked while speaking, and I've absolutely enjoyed my interaction with people as I've been able to teach this stuff. So um, that's kind of, I know it's kind of long, but that is my introduction to not only Young Living, but um, it's also my introduction to the colors and what got me into uh, Full Spectrum Success and Full Spectrum Freedom and teaching on personality colors. Yeah, that's awesome. That was a um, great introduction, and I, I think um, I have two. We have a two-and-a-half-year-old little girl, McKenna, and our 10-month-old, Gabrielle, and my wife definitely wants to have more kids, and I just think, wow, what would life be like with seven kids? <laughs> I don't know if we'll make it there, but good on you. Um, and, uh, <laughs> well, I will tell you, free, free time is not exactly a, a, you know, a common thing. It's, yeah. it's definitely a commodity. <laughs> it has a different definition for sure. Um, well, no, that was great. I think that um, what really stands out to me is just the the value of um, just learning more with the personalities. I mean, the, my first introduction to the personalities and and the colors um, was actually uh, through Big Al uh, or Tom or Tom Schreider, Big Al, and I loved it because I just I laughed my butt off the first time I heard it. I went to was driving home from Des Moines, Iowa, from Sonia Swan's Vibrant Health event in 2014. I went there to hear her speaking to Adam Green and um, and I listened to it and it was just hilarious because I realized, wow, I'm definitely blue and red or depending on the day, red or blue. And, um, you know, it's just funny because uh, my wife and I were listening to your fourth video in, the, in your free video, five part video series that you're putting on right now. And we were just laughing because she just took the personalities quiz and um, and she was like, oh my goodness, I, I, I'm green? Really? Can I take that test again? And I said, yeah, you, I mean, you can't take it again. You can only do it once. And it was just funny because I, I think that in, in my entrepreneurial life or journey as a fitness business owner, um, you know, there's been so many instances that where through from a coaching standpoint or from a team building standpoint um, or interacting with clients and the inability to understand the basics of communicate or um, of personalities can really, I, I'd be so bold as to say from my own humble experience, probably at the, the, foundation of pretty much every communication issue known to man and, and or woman on the planet. Would you tend to agree with that? I would. I absolutely would. I think, and uh, one of the things that I wrote about, um, and in fact, it's in that last video that you just mentioned, is about conflict. And we all experience conflict. Conflict is actually a part of communication. But conflict stems from the fact that there is a a difference in your uh, in the appearance of value between two individuals right and that's you know at any anytime you value one thing here and somebody else values it you know at a different point there's going to be an argument there's going to be a, a clash there there's going to be conflict it's how you deal with that and how you communicate through it that dictates your success or failure for sure 
yeah, it's not so much what happens to you, it's how you how you deal with it. But if you don't know how to deal with it, then it can be kind of frustrating, and you can be left kind of hanging on the corner. So, um, I who out listening to the call right now live, and some of you, in fact, most of you are going to listen to this as a recording. But just go ahead and type in the chat box if you can uh, relate to that that you've had challenges in the past with um, relationship or communication, and it's been now that you realize it, the inability to understand other people's colors, you can just go ahead and type yes or no or not sure. Um, and either way, it's fine. I just want to, we want to have some interaction and some engagement. So go ahead and just type in the chat box there. And um, Jacob, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show everybody. Um, so you guys, can you see my screen? Jacob, yes, I can. See okay. Yep. All right. So you guys have probably saw this website before. This is the Wild Success Summit. I'm going to... Um, inject some of my dry sense of humor here. Um, and so what I want to remind you all about is that you can go to whilesuccesssummit.com and remembering that everybody who's on this call and listening to it in the future is a VIP member um, or somebody who's paid for uh, the digital downloads or the flash drive. And so when you go on to that, just go to whilesuccesssummit.com or redirect to this link, you can go to login and, um, and then you can go ahead and I'm actually going to log out um, and I want to show you guys right from scratch here uh, because when you go to put in your email, you're going to see I'm going to log into Jacob's account. I didn't even ask him for permission, but I have special privileges. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go to 2016 it, and you go to, um, I believe it was on day five. So uh, I actually had somebody message me earlier today and they're like, I want to hear hear this. I want to hear the call, but I don't know what color I am. I don't even know where to start. I didn't get a chance to listen to Jacob's presentation. So if you haven't listened to the presentation, uh, remember that we talked about this earlier, that uh, knowledge is power, but applied um, applied knowledge is even more power. That's really where you're going to get the best bang for your buck. So you've had 57 minutes and 40 seconds of uh, really understanding more about the personalities and the colors. It's a great, this presentation, Jacob, you did a, a bang up job. We had a lot of uh, very positive feedback about your presentation. And really just because awesome. I think it's just a common thread that that really connects all of us as human beings together. And um, in the fact that we all are, you know, not just one color where we're probably a blend. We have a primary and a secondary, and I'm sure you can, get more into that but I just wanted to remind you all that you can go here and and and, and use this and um, we haven't done this yet but we will um, and again I'd like you some for some feedback in the chat box if you would find it valuable or helpful if we put a little player for just the audio version so you don't have to play or stream the full video so if you're driving or commuting um, and you can load it up like an audio uh, file and just listen to the mp3, MP3 version um, would you guys find that helpful? Because it, it is going to be a fair bit of work for us, but we will go ahead and do it because those of you who have online viewing access, that will be a huge benefit. So just go ahead and put it in the chat box um, and, and let us know because um, we thrive on feedback. So um, I know me nice. personally, I would, I really like it because I'm going through several different training programs and I love the videos, but at the end of the day, I mean, honestly, um, I really believe that if you just listen to the audio version of Jacob's presentation, this one here, and like take that, take it and put it on um, autoplay, put it on replay, whatever. Just just continually listen to it because we we learn in layers. Now, of course, that yeah, might have to have absolutely. something to do with my personality, <laughs> um, but <laughs> uh, or with my color, perhaps. Uh, but anyway, so this is where you guys are at, and I just I'm sidestepping a little bit, Jacob, on this because I, I this is important so that everybody can know exactly where to find your presentation. So it's on day five, video number three, and then the other thing is when you go into digital downloads here, guys, um, you can go. There's a video that's going to show you exactly how to download it. But go ahead, um, if you'd like to, the audio. Um, you can download all 71 audios there in a click of a button and then just once they're downloaded to your computer, you can transfer them to your, your mobile device. So just wanted to show you a couple basic little housekeeping items there um, and uh, where to find Jacob's presentation. So uh, circling back to you, uh, Jacob, what else would you be want to give to everybody listening now um, in – just some pointers or some tips on how to use your presentation to really get more out of it. Sure. Um, I first of all would like to say um, 
you you did a phenomenal job, and this isn't just a Barney doesn't know I'm going to say this, but I I want to pat him on the back a little bit because he has done a phenomenal job with that summit, and the amount of of information that is available on that thing is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So if you guys have not dove into that completely and really grasped the full effect that you can get from that, you need to because it, there is so much in there. I'll tell you what, if you talk about, you know, how there's some people that take 15 years to build a business, there's some people that take 20 years to build a business. Um, if you want to build a business in four years or less, you need to tap into every resource that you can. And this is an excellent way to tap into amazing resources that are going to completely jumpstart your business, like get you way further than you would normally be with the same amount of effort. And all, all for the watching and listening, really. So anyway, that's that ends my sales sales pitch there. But I I did need to throw that out because it's it's a phenomenal phenomenal event that was put on, and you guys have access to some incredible stuff. So make sure to get in there. So earlier, um, Barney, you mentioned uh, people's secondary colors, and I'm sure that's going to kind of confuse some people because we didn't actually touch on secondary colors. I don't think in this presentation. But I think I will briefly touch on secondary colors just because I, I want people to understand um, the impact that that does have. And that's part of something that I wrote into the new book. Um, your primary color is your proactive color. That's, that's the color that you make most of your decisions in. Okay, so in my case, I'm a red. Uh, most of my decisions are goal focused, um, you know, they're goal oriented, um, they're object oriented sometimes but I'm clearly about what I need to do to get what I want, right? And for those of you that have watched the, watched the uh, Personality Colors for Success presentation, you understand that that's the master key question for a red, what? But my secondary is blue. Blue's master key question is why. They have to have a reason for everything because they are sacrificing their time for it, so it has to be worth it in order for them to do that. And Barney, when you mentioned the secondary colors, I think a lot of people get confused because they feel like they are, you know, more than one color. And the truth is you are. You're actually all four colors um, to different different varying degrees. And when you when you take the personality quiz um, on my website, jacobadamo.com, you should get an email with your result, which is your primary color, but you should also get a downloadable link that will show you, um, you're able to download it and print it out. And it's the same test, but when you fill it out and score it yourself, you're going to see your ratio of all four of the, your personality colors. And that's going to clue you in because it's the one that comes in second. Um, a lot of times, believe it or not, it's not always this case, but a lot of times your secondary color is fairly close to your primary color, you know, within a few, within a few points. Um, and I like to call them your proactive and reactive colors. Now, that's not always the case because you can be proactive in your secondary color, but most people are actually reactive in their secondary color. So when they hit, a, when they hit something that, that emotionally shifts them a little bit, they tend to, to go over toward their, their comfort color, if you will. Your growth color is your proactive color. Your comfort color is your reactive color. That's, you know, I don't want to grow. I don't want to change right now. So I want to, um, I'm going to push this aside. And like in my, in for to give you an example of my myself as a red blue, I will set a goal and push toward it, and I'm, I'm driven. You know, I'm going to get the thing done. I'm going to knock it out of the park. And so I'm pushing toward it. Well, I start hitting potholes, start hitting, you know, bumps in the road, speed bumps, and all of a sudden, it's not fun anymore. And so at that point, when it becomes not fun, and we know that fun and excitement are a huge drive for your blue personality types, right? They've got to feel that rush. That's where they're most at home. When that starts to happen, I can shift into blue, and I'm going to go look for something fun to do, like right now. Just, I, I'm, I'm going to whatever, this is where it is, boom, done, go do something fun. If I allow that to happen, it kind of derails my primary color, my red, right? So I I actually kind of, I like to joke about it being a, a clutch versus crutch mentality. So your clutch, you kick in your clutch to shift to a, a, a better gear, right? To go faster, smoother, better gas mileage, whatever your desires are, you're going to use that clutch to get there. 
if you're using crutches, it's because you're not walking properly. And we all know what happens if you use crutches for too long. You end up with atrophied muscles. You can't you can't walk properly. You know, muscles start to give up if they're not exercised regularly. So, your your secondary color um, is typically your reactive color. But we have to be careful to make sure that we rein that in and that we understand it so that we can turn it into a positive. Like in my case, instead of being derailed by that, I can understand that I acknowledge that I need some fun in my life right now because this is way too much work. But I can also tell myself, okay, that fun is going to come at the end of this chore. And so we're going to do, you know, we've done A and B. As soon as we accomplish C, we're going to stop and take a pause and have some fun and fulfill that side of your personality. Because it's a real side. It comes from you. So it has to be acknowledged. You've got to, you have to acknowledge it and you have to understand that that is part of you. You can't just say no to it forever. But you have to make sure that you're doing it in a proactive way, so that you don't derail yourself. So there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of added value there. Yeah, that's really good. I think that um, <laughs> I can I can relate to it. I actually, when I listened to the presentation, your presentation, and it, well, first when I listened, when I first discovered um, way back in my previous network marketing. Um, experience was in uh, actually in Amway and they use the disc method um, and it pretty similar in, in the carryover which if you relate the letters to the colors I believe that the the D is um, red and the I is uh, blue it's and the blue. S is yep. yellow and the C is green <clears throat> and uh, at any rate I remember yep. listening to it and I actually kind of got a little like deflated I'm like oh my gosh like I'm a blue like I don't like details and I forget stuff and I get all excited and then I forget what I'm doing or I just get all, get, get all fired. <laughs> I actually like, I was listening to it and um, the training and I actually kind of felt a little, I don't know how to explain it. Like I just, I didn't feel fully empowered even though I felt deflated. Like, yeah, a little <laughs> deflated. Like I just kind of felt like part, like it was, uh, I felt inferior because of some of the weaknesses or the, 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 how would you, how would you describe that? Like there's the positive side, I wouldn't say the positive and the negative side, but there's the, there's my computer telling there's us There's the what empowered side and there's, and there's the, there's, I would say the disempowered your side. empowered side. And then you have your, your disempowered side, like, you know, you have your weaknesses and, right. and that's just a matter of life. Like we all have strengths and we all have weaknesses. And that's why when I took the colors apart and, and put them in, to my training, I, I teach on three different shades of each color, troublesome, typical, and true. And those shades are talking about specific function within your color. Are you dysfunctional? Are you average or normal? Are you highly functional in that color? Right. Because every color has their strengths. But yeah, it's, it's it, and, and I, I've had a lot of people, you know, and the reason I deal with troublesome first and then go through true is because I always like to end on the best note. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes a sad ending, right? Yeah. So we all, we all try to end on the, on the best note possible. But the truth is that there are, and it's a gradient, you know, that's the biggest thing you have to understand is it's a gradient. There's days where we're going to slip. We're not going to be our truest self. But if we're aware of it and we can see it, then it helps us to, to correct. But you're right. When you when you first learn about yourself, when I first learned about personalities, I started reading through it. I found out I was a, a red, you know, I was dominant uh, in the disc method, and I looked at that and I thought, well, you know, I don't want to be the bad guy. That kind yeah. of paints me in a bad light, right? Yeah. But it doesn't. I don't have to be the bad guy. It's how I use my strengths. Right. I am dominant, but how I use it determines how true I am to that that color. And that's why I put those shades in there because I want people to understand that it, it's the gradient within each one. Every personality type has function and dysfunction. So where do you where do you fall on that scale, and how can you improve to be better, and how can you communicate better with those around you and understand at the same time understand where they are on their scale, and how to help them. That's what this is all about. It's not just about yourself. It's about your team. It's about uh, understanding those around you at a fuller level. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think, you know, the reason I brought that up is because I know it's a common feeling and I know that as a red, it's frankly, it, it, well, I have, I have read and uh, actually when I redid the personality color uh, test on your site, <clears throat> I was red and I, frankly, I was kind of shocked. I actually thought that it would come out as blue, but I mean, 
when you look at at my just well just my personality in general there's no way no way I could have taken the um, bull by the horns metaphorically speaking and and pulled things off with the wild success I mean I had more than enough um, opportunity to quit and give up and just keep building my business and focus on that or other things in my life um, but if if I didn't have that that strong dominance or that outgoing character or I would say humbly as charisma to uh, really pull all the presenters together and sell them on this idea of putting together free training for the benefit of the community and then um, you know really doing all that there's there's ways to really use your strengths to benefit but then there's times where a red as a as an example uh, not to pick on reds at all obviously but can steamroll over people and uh, I've noticed that that uh, the misinterpretation and misunderstanding of, let's say, a red personality, um, people can misinterpret a red very easily as uh, unthoughtful, uh, careless, or just kind of they don't really care about people. They're just in it for the, the result, so to speak. Yeah. Well, and other trainers, um, you know, even say that, you know, the, the, the reds are all about the money. They're all about the money. And I, I think that they're, what they're identifying you know, when I talk about the master key questions, the master key question for a red is what, right? What is in it for them? What are they after? What, you know, what does it take to get it? That's what their, that's their, their deal, right? So it's not just money. Money could be just the vehicle to get what they want. Right. So when you, when you look at it, you have to realize that it could be deeper than just, you know, all oh, reds are all about the money. Not necessarily. They're after something very specific, though, and you have to find out what they're after. That's that's how you're going to empower them. That's how you're going to help them by figuring out what they're after and helping them achieve it. And I always said, you know, in in full spectrum success, I said the determining factor for a true red to remember is that their strengths should never be leveraged against others, but rather applied to bolster others as they journey alongside them. And what I mean by that is, you know, like you said, we can steamroll as red. We can totally steamroll over somebody because we, we've got our eyes on the prize and we're going for it. And by golly, nothing is going to stop us from re reaching our goals. We're going to hit it. But we have to realize that same strength it can be leveraged to help bolster and carry others that do, don't have that strength, you know, that personality strength. And we can help other people get there. And what we have to realize is in helping others, we're helping ourselves. We're going to help them. They're going to help us reach our goals, and that's how it works. We right. can do it all ourselves, or we can, you know, activate the team, <laughs> the team aspect, which is hard sometimes, you know, because, you know, we want to put our pace on other people, and we have to be careful of that as Reds. We have to be really careful of putting our pace on other people because they're not going to run at the same pace. <laughs> right. Yeah, we want to get the get the job done. Yeah. And I think, I think that th this is the funny, the funny part when we, when we go in and look at something like this and let the personalities, I mean, when you look at anything else, I mean, we have another, I don't know, 20 plus calls that are going to happen like this in the next year. I really strongly believe like as, as an example, let's just take um, big Al Schreider and his training with like saying better words um, or, or what prospects are thinking, um, you know, journey, uh, Steve, Steve Sheridan's journey to health and wealth or some of the health related topics. I really believe, and I'm, I'm not saying this, Jacob, just because you're on the call, uh, but I really, really believe that the the personality colors and the understanding of them is, pro I would consider to be foundational training for any person that has two feet in a heartbeat. And, you know, I say that as a, as a bit of a joke. So hopefully some of you like laugh like, ah, oh, two, two feet in a heartbeat. But it's true. I mean, whether you're wearing young living or we're just human beings working our job, uh, doing life, uh, being a, a family person, um, whatever it is, it, the ability to understand and communicate more effectively to those around us, well, it just makes for a better experience in life just all around. And so that's why I think that um, what you have with your book, you know, you have the full spe spectrum success. So I actually am getting a little ahead of myself uh, with your book. So people were asking um, earlier about they didn't know, okay, where can I take, I don't even know what my color is. I, I, I listened to the presentation, but I don't even know where, what, what my color is. So you can go to jacobadama.com and then go to personality colors quiz. I've been clicking around on here as we've been on the call, just to kind of show you a little bit more that's on here. And, um, you can, you can get on here and if you're like me, I'm kind of like, okay, I want to know more. I want to know more. I want to know more. I want to dive deeper. I want to learn more. And, um, I'm, I consider myself to be a student of, 
knowledge and uh, student of learning, uh, lifelong learning. And hence why I selfishly created the summit for my own self, because I wanted to learn from some of these uh, presenters and leaders. And I thought, well, this would be a pretty good way to be able to get them to do some training. <laughs> um, and so, so it's, yeah, well, and, and, you know, it, it's funny, but it's true. I mean, really, I, I love learning and I feel fulfilled when I'm learning. And uh, so, and I know that everybody else got the benefit by that. So, uh, but, but staying on point here with the color quiz. So go ahead and take the color quiz and then you can read a little bit more about it. And then, um, you have your book, Full Spectrum um, Success, which talks more specifically about the basic foundation um, of the colors. And then your second book that you had just come out with that is on the verge of being literally released in the next couple days, I believe, correct? Yes, you are correct. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit more about that, about the book okay. and why you, why you wrote it and what it is. So... In full spectrum success, it actually is a it's a weekend read. It's short, um, and it was it was originally designed just to explain my concept of the colors, identifying by color, but also more than identify uh, identification by color, uh, a difference in communication, in listening, and in talking to different colors. But then, as I, I I began to speak and and reach out to people, I got so many questions on different topics, everything from, you know, well, I, you know, I, I think I'm this color, but I act like this, and, and, and you know, I feel like I'm this color. So this second book, Full Spectrum Freedom, was literally a, a year and a half project of me taking the questions that I was asked frequently, doing webinars, doing conference calls, doing live speaking engagements, and I took all these questions and I, I wrote them down and I, I thought them through and I did the did the research and worked on it and so this book we cover a much more in-depth array of the different color interactions so instead of just establishing what I call a foundation like I think you need to read the first book you need to have that as a foundation because a lot of the things that I'm going to talk about if you don't understand the master key questions of each color um, the what why how and who it's going to be very difficult to grasp what's in the second book, but the second book is going to take you to a whole deeper level of communication. It's going to—I mean, we start out from chapter one of owning your color, which, you know, I, I called it "own your color, don't let it own you." And the reason behind that is there are there are a lot of people out there that they kind of use their color as a bit of an excuse. Well, this is just how I am, you know. <laughs> and the fact of the matter is, if, as soon as we do that, we're discrediting and discounting ourselves. We're not being as effective as we need to be. So the first thing you need to do is own your color. Know what it is. Know what your weaknesses are. A lot of people look at it and they're like, I don't like that troublesome side. Well, nobody does. <laughs> nobody <laughs> likes the troublesome side. But the fact is, it's a gradient that we slide on. So we have to be aware of that because there are going to be days when we slip. You know, when we slip on that gradient and we slide toward that troublesome, and when we recognize it, that's when we have the power to change it. If we don't recognize it, don't see it, don't understand it, that's going to be a lot harder for us to correct. So I deal with everything from that to um, my second chapter in the book is called "They're Not My Color." Now what? Um, and that is that just means like there's so many people out there that say I only deal with this color because this is who I understand, and that's very detrimental especially if you're you know in our type of business you have to understand regardless of actually you know regardless of your business even if you're in family you're gonna have different colors in family you have to learn how to understand those people and how to how to communicate with them if you want to have a good relationship with them so you know they're not my color now what so we deal with that and then we talk about secondary colors we talk about nature versus nurture because those both play, and those are old psychological terms, but they both play into who we become and how our color represents. A lot of times, you know, I was I was raised, I, I'm, I'm in nature, very red-blue. I was raised by a very green individual. So there are, there are things that I do out of habit or training, if you want to say, that, that resemble green. I'm not a green personality, but I was trained in those things. You know, that's, that's nurture. So I touch on nature versus nurture, um, a, a tiny little bit on child rearing, because 
I had so many questions about it. That's going to be a future book called Full Spectrum Family. We're going to dive way more into the family dynamic and, and talk about that at a later date. But I do touch on the nature versus nurture. Um, I touch on conflict resolution, which the last video in that training series, uh, which I thought came out really good, is a just a sneak peek at conflict resolution, the conflict and resolution by color. So you'll want to look at that. I talk about the colors of leadership and the different um, successes and failures that I see with the different leaders. And it doesn't have to be, but it's, it's more of kind of a, a warning. Like, be careful of this. Here's your strengths. Here's your weaknesses. Watch these. Um, the colors of faith. This one is a chapter that um, I had I had numerous questions on. Like, you know, I view faith as this. This person views faith on this. You know, we have a doctrinal difference, so you know we can't we can't work together. And I broke it down basically on how to understand the differences in faith by personality type, which I hope will help heal some of those relationships as they understand that their view of faith is a little different. And that takes a, a very broad mind to, to engage, but I'm hoping that people will look at that. You know, they can skip that chapter if they want to, but I think it will open their minds um, big time when they look at other people and their, their faith and how they balance that. The next chapter is on balancing personality, balancing your personality, because we all need balance. Uh, if you are super, super red, if you look at that quadrant and you see diagonally there's a yellow, that's a lot of times there's an area of weakness there. So balancing becomes, you know, every painter out there has, you know, their palette that they take colors from and they mix and, and that's how they get a, a beautiful color onto the, the portrait. And it's no different with your personality. You have to learn how much of each different color you want to employ while you're talking and while you're moving through through life. So I've got that chapter on balancing your personality. I've got a chapter on motivation by color because different colors are motivated by different things. Um, I've got a chapter on informed versus influence. There's two different ways to, to gain leadership, informed and influenced. And it's very important to know the differences between those two because that's going to shape your business, especially if you're if we're talking business aspect and obviously this could be you know applying to family or or church or anything else. but from a business aspect, if you build your business based on in, informed you know information instead of influence, it's going to result in different results. If you build it on influence, uh, for example, in our business with network marketing, everybody's the same on day one. You know, you all start at zero. You might not be there for you know for very long, maybe you know minutes or an hour before your first orders go through. But we all start at zero, so we have to understand that um, if we influence people and don't inform them enough, and it's purely our influence that's getting them the sale, that's getting the sale and getting the the volume, we're going to have to do that every single month. And that creates a cyclical loop that is a lot of effort. That's a lot of work. You're creating a job for yourself. So there has to be a balance between your influence and your information so that it becomes their decision to continue and, and to, you know, to, to pursue the business or the product for themselves. So anyway, those are just a few of the, the chapters in the new book that gives, gives you kind of a you know, a brief look at what's in it, but it's going to be, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be eye-opening. Anybody who has a passion for personality types and for learning more about how your communication can be bettered and how your business can be bettered, I really believe this is going to be a great tool for you, and I look forward to you reading it. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I think that uh, I'll use my dry sense of humor again here from Canada say that anybody with two feet in a heartbeat, you've got to make sure you buy the book and, uh, you know, get the first one full, full spectrum, uh, success and then full spectrum freedom. Um, and I was going to interject a little, um, funny saying, or just my, my, um, whatever. I was just going to say something funny when you said that you were going to write the book full spectrum family. I'm like, I don't know if you're qualified after seven kids to write a book on that. <laughs> I might have to have a couple more yet. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll get some. I'll get some other leading experts on family okay. in, in on that one too. Maybe yeah. we could talk to Andy Jenkins, Andy and Christy Jenkins. <laughs> They're up to like nine or something like that. Yep. yep. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, no, I, I or, think or the that... Friedels. The Friedels have like twenty two, oh. so oh, my goodness. I mean I think they kinda of top everybody with their adoption policy and everything, but what yes. an amazing family. Holy mackerel. Yeah. Good on them. God bless their hearts, I tell you. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I actually did get a chance to talk to Brian, and he said it, it gets to the point where they they're start to develop leaders within their, their kids, and they start to run part of the tribe. Um, so what I want to do is I want to get into now is that for those of you who have been waiting patiently um, on the call, listening, you're here live, you might have some questions. Uh, what I'd love for you to do is to start queuing you up now. If you have questions for Jacob that you'd like either me to ask uh, to answer, um, just go ahead and type it in the chat box. Or if you'd like to say, um, if you'd like to come on live, just put on, um, just type in there, you'd like to jump on live and I can unmute you and then you can ask um, and we can have a little bit of interaction here. And while you're doing that and you're thinking of a question, um, if you didn't think of any questions or you don't have anything right now, um, you're definitely going to want to write them down and you might want to, you know, just keep them for handy for later because you might get a chance in the future to ask uh, Jacob some questions. And <clears throat> in the interim, I, I put this website up here uh, because this is the page where you can go to Jacob's website um, and it, it's not going to show. So if you go to his website here, you can't find the link from his main website. Um, right here, but if you just go to just put jacobadamo.com forward slash FSF start for full spectrum freedom start. And right now he's putting on a five part free video series, um, which is really good. And, and I love this line here you need this training if you've ever felt confused, intimidated, uh, overwhelmed, and unable to understand how to relate to other personalities. And I'm pretty sure. In fact, I would I'd be willing to bet money on it that every person on the call now and in the future can relate to that statement. So um, you can go there and he's got the right now there's four videos on there. And this is kind of part of the kickoff to his book. He's also going to be offering um, a six week video or a six week um, online interactive training program uh, where you're going to be able to dig more into this, because if you're like me, and you're, you're hungry and you want to learn and you want to grow, um, I get really excited and I'm excited now and I'm excited just thinking about all of the different areas and elements and aspects of my life that I know that I'll be able to improve as I become more adept with the principles um, and, and really appreciating and understanding the different colors better, especially for me personally, um, with yellow and green. It doesn't mean I don't have yellow and green in me because I do have the detailed aspects and I do have a big heart. Uh, I do love people. I want to help people. So that's where the yellows come in. But those are my less dominant uh, colors, I would I would say. And so with that being said, um, I kind of, I, when I go through and read, the, read a book like this, I want more. And so Jacob has really stepped up to the plate and uh, offered and listened to everybody for the last really two years, I guess it's been since you've been traveling around the countryside speaking for other uh, Young Living Leaders, is it, or has it been longer? No, no, it's actually been, um, it's been about two years, because I think, uh, well, the first time, first time, actually it's been less than that, because the first time I spoke was at the 2015 convention um, in Dallas, and I had a breakout session, and enough people really warmly received that they loved that, um, so I started speaking to private groups after that by either webinar or um, by live, you know, showing up doing, doing live events. And and I love that. I mean, it's my passion. I, I absolutely, when testimonials come back to me, where people come up to me and they, they want to hug my neck and tell me, you know, I, I, I listened to you, I read your book, and I, I went home and my marriage was saved because of it, you know, or, or I now have a relationship with a child that I just could not connect with those things that that's the very reason that I do what I do I, I want I want people to understand a deeper level of communication and there's there's a hunger for it out there and you know nobody wants to be miserable nobody wants to be misunderstood everybody wants to, to thrive in communication everybody wants to have that that empowered feeling that they're being heard they're being understood and they're having impact and when that's missing, you've got a big problem. And so my goal in life is to help restore that with people. My goal in life is to to empower people 
to not just understand better, but be able to communicate at a level that they've never been able to communicate before, to understand and be able to separate um, their, you know, because we all hear things differently. But if you can hear something from the way that it was intended to be heard, based on the way that your natural personality tendency would hear it, it's powerful because that enables you to check your reactive response, right? And take a proactive response on communicating with that person to make sure that you are on the same page, that you're both on, the, you know, moving toward the same goal and wanting the same thing. And that that is absolutely empowering and crucial. I agree and and I um I, I I scrolled down on the computer here when you were talking because I think this is the one of the testimonials. Um, and if you if you can't see the screen and and if you aren't uh, or you don't ever watch this um, because I've just been going through some of Jacob's website, I want to read this to you. Um, this is from Karen Watson. Um, After attending Jacob's session at our uh, company convention, um, I knew I had to get this book full spectrum success. Discovering my color and understanding those of others has made a positive difference in my all of my relationships and as a green married to a blue to say our marriage has benefited is an understatement <laughs> um, you will be blessed by Jacob's insight and heart as he helps you discover how to live and lead in your true color a full spectrum world awaits and um, and there's some other great testimonies on here as well but I think that one for me personally when I read it I just I think got a little chuckle out of it um, especially the line about saying a, being a green married to a blue. Um, I can only imagine the conversations, me being a blue and my wife being a green and her like just, you know, with the details and with the being on time and being specific. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like who needs the details and who cares with timelines? Um, and not really. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I just decide what to do and get stuff done. And she's like, whatever, you know, and it's funny. Um, so I just think that that's really powerful. So anybody, this is your chance. Um, if you want, you can, un if you know how to be unmute yourself, you can jump on real quick and ask Jacob any questions related to your, uh, specifics about personalities. Yeah, please do. And, and don't be afraid of the questions. Like, honestly, you know, the old saying, the only, you know, the only bad question is the question you don't ask. It's, uh, it's honestly true when it comes to this stuff. Don't, don't be afraid to ask because, um, it's a learning curve just for me as well, but I've spent a lot of time learning and I've spent a lot of time dedicating to this. So if I can shorten your learning curve or help you in any way, that's what I'm here for. And I'm I'm proud and happy to do it. That's that is what I live for. So don't don't feel nervous. Just shoot it out there. So you just mentioned Karen Watson. I have to say she is an absolute sweetheart. She was at one of the events that I uh, did a couple months ago. And I got to meet her in person for the first time. She's been an avid fan since my book came out. But I'll tell you what, if you ever want a good hug on the neck, that, that lady can do it. She is, she's a sweetheart. She's absolute grandmotherly type. And um, it was such a blessing to get to hear her, her testimony and, and what it had done for her and her relationship with her husband and their communication. All of a sudden, it just opened it up. You know, they realized... They realized the two different colors and the two different directions that they were coming from, and all of a sudden it was like, okay, so now we can see how we can adjust our communication and our, our speaking to not offend or you know flip the other person off, so to speak, but to make sure that we're working toward the same goal and and we're on the same page, and that's that's crucial. I mean, what my wife and I are both Reds, believe it or not, and. Our secondary colors, though, I'm a, I'm a secondary blue. She's a secondary green. So it's funny that we still offset each other because we're both red. We drive like crazy. We're both, like, our desks are right next to each other. We both work, you know, hardcore. We've got the kids homeschooling, so we're checking their schooling off and on. And it's like it's daddy's turn, it's mommy's turn, it's daddy's turn, it's mommy's turn. <laughs> and we go back and forth and we take care of them. But secondary is awesome because if you look at our desks, like she's all organized and she's got everything. That's her secondary green kicking it. She's got everything organized. She's got everything like laid out for the day. And then you get to my desk, and I have some organization, but let's be honest, there's not a lot. Like it's pretty much it's chaos. But I can I know where everything is. So if you clean it, 
I'm in big trouble <laughs> because I, I know I know where everything yeah. is in the mess. So just leave it alone. <laughs> Until the green comes along and cleans it up. That's that is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, and she can only stand it for so long before she has to. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. Well, I think everybody. Uh, it, it was. I, I always say this jokingly when I'm when I'm speaking live in front of people or uh, coaching in a group. I always say, loud, listen. If everybody asks their question all at the same time and everybody talks at the exact same time, we can't hear anybody. And then usually everybody chuckles and thinks it's funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think we might have um, overly uh, delivered or delivered a high value already that people just don't even know what to say or what to ask. So um, totally fine if you guys aren't in a position to be able to ask. Now, some of you actually messaged me outside of the chat just saying that you're, you can't unmute yourself right now you're in a you're somewhere where you can't um, and so that's totally fine so uh, just to reiterate as we a couple more minutes we can wrap things up here for tonight um, really wanted to focus on uh, just really showing whoops I keep clicking that uh, button uh, to different ways that you can make sure that you get more value out of your presentation so remember this that um, the the wild success summit is something that the, the the challenge with it is that there's so much the good the good side of it is that really quite frankly even if you only use 25 to 30 percent of the presentations that you have access to or purchased and just actually implemented what the presenter is sharing with you or put it into practice or whatever um at your own or in in your own timelines it's going to massively transform and shift your life and um i mean for a fraction of what you what you've invested in for all of the material, um, when you look at everything else that you're going to have access to, um, I really believe that this, uh, I would put Jacob's presentation in the top 10 of the, the core essentials or uh, in the foundations of what you really should focus on because quite frankly, read the rest of the stuff, all the presentations are like layers. Um, it doesn't mean to, to devalue them, of course, uh, because they're all amazing trainings and they have th different pieces of the puzzle. Uh, but I really believe that, that your ability to be able to interact and engage with your uh, friends, family members, team members, and coworkers, or um, just people in general in your life, it'll make life so much more enjoyable. So uh, coming back to this is just ensuring that you're scheduling your time um, for listening. So what I actually like to do um, is I wanted to show you guys this. Now you can download this um, when you go into the presentation. I'll show you exactly where it is. So when you're logged into your account, you can go to digital downloads and then you can go to the read me first section. Um, so I need to fix this. I'm not sure why it really bothers me. Why <laughs> when you click on it, it takes you back up to the top. It should really just display um, what you're looking at. And this is where you're going to want to see the um, uh, presentation index. Okay. That's what this is right here called the presentation index. And I really want to encourage you to just pick three presentations um, because we're, we have Jacob on the call tonight. I'm going to encourage you to, to choose his um, and put it in your top three for this week. And so I'm giving you unofficial homework. Um, I know that you have a probably a longer list of things that you need to do or you want to accomplish. Um, just pick three presentations and focus on those for the next week. Uh, put Jacob's presentation in the in the top three and then also put his um, video training series on your plate as well. And, and put it in here so that you can, where it says D, uh, meaning that you've downloaded it and then you've listened to it. The video, you've downloaded it and then you've watched it or the transcript. Um, and, you know, the transcripts are great, but I, I don't really – hear a lot of people saying that they're like, oh my gosh, I bought the Success Summit because I just wanted to read all of 71 of the transcripts and all, <laughs> all the pages of the now, if you're green, I'm not going to offend any of the greens because you might have, you totally might have done that. Um, and that's cool. But I, I still would just say that they're, they're good companions to each other. Um, and so make sure you dig in and do that. So you can listen to the presentation, then go to the website. If you haven't already done so to Jacob's website, uh, jacobadamo.com take the personality colors quiz um, and then you can actually click on the email uh, the link in the email that I'd sent you if you can't remember all these links um, and you can go to um, go and sign yourself up for this free video training series um, and then Jacob you'll have the option to buy his book uh, or pre-order it because they're going to be shipping out in October uh, pardon me not October in January and then as well yes as well for the um, six-week online interactive training program 
and uh, you're also going to be offering private one-on-one -on -one coaching and then also a, a the a, like a royal package where people can uh, essentially uh, have you come out and do like a full day of training with their team so can you just tell people a little bit more uh, briefly as we wrap things up here Jacob about the I think the six-week online interactive training program um, and just some of the basic what, what people can look forward to and expecting with that program which I believe is starting on January the 3rd correct yes it'll be starting on the 3rd and the six-week program is going to be um, an extensive training what we're going to be doing is basically taking um, all of the colors material from the two books there's a lot of different learning styles out there and a lot of people you know they love a book to refer to but but as far as reading it and applying it it's different than when you hear somebody actually apply it with examples and stuff like that so what we're going to do is we're going to take this knowledge and we're going to put it in a digital format where it'll be a webinar type format so that you can actually experience the the education directly from me there will be ability to ask questions and to to learn even more it's going to be it's going to cover 6 weeks and it's going to cover all of the information in the two books plus some additional information from me and just my travels and and the things that I've learned so it's going to be a highly interactive course you're going to have the ability to uh, really fine tune where you're at but you're going to learn some spectacular things and you're going to get to see examples that you know don't come from pages in a book. You're going to get to see see them spoken out and and talked through, which always has tremendous value for impact. Yeah, and I think I think that's the key. Um, you know, it's one thing to take a book and read it, and I mean, for me, I'm 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 I love reading, but I've learned as I've gotten. Um, more mature in my adult years, the ripe age of 33, I have found that when I listen to audiobooks, I can I can crank through the books. You know, when I'm doing the dishes or uh, shoveling snow like I was today, or um, commuting to my fitness club right now, I have an hour, um, 30 minutes there and back, and I, I really I can listen to a lot of the um, the audio presentations. And then, but being able to take it and taking the book and then going through the course um, and then being able to interact and engage with you in the six week course, I think it just really, like you said, it blends all the learning styles, um, auditory, auditory, kinesthetic, and mathematical, logical. And it blends it together because you're really going to get more out of it. And it's not just, I don't believe that your training and material is something that you just watch once and then you're done something that you or sorry that you read once and then you're done it's something that you it kind of you got to keep letting it grow with you right yeah oh yeah and I, I have testimonials of people who have read just my first book which was only like 70 pages long it was it was actually very short and they say you know I, I have to read that every couple months to to re, you know kind of refresh my brain as far as focusing on the different colors and everything and that's very important like you want to you want to be in a constant state of growth you have to continually be putting into yourself and I believe that you know, like even with myself I'm always looking for positive reinforcement I'm always reading because you know leaders are readers I read constantly and I think every you know this actually kind of resonates with something you said earlier Barney um, it's a quote that that I came up with that I absolutely um, adhere to and it's that every master knows that he'll be forever a student and I think that mindset is is very very true like when we you know some people look at it and they're like wow you're a master of this and all we see is we have a long way to go yet we know we have a lot to learn that's right but, but that humility is what creates the the proper soil proper cultivation for growing our minds Agreed. Yeah. And I think that the business that we're in, you know, specifically in Young Living, um, that it, it really fosters an arena to uh, enable us to interact and engage through prospecting, through recruiting, through sharing the oils, through working with people on our team. Um, you're going to learn so much. It's, I mean, you can read the Personality Colors book, Full Spectrum Success, and read Full Spectrum Freedom. But then if you're a hermit and you never interact and engage with the uh, society and other people, then you can't really actually learn and grow. Now there might be some personality colors that tend to lean towards that to being more reserved and not as 
out in front of people and engage. But at the end of the day, it's just more fun to want to be around people um, and to get more out of it in general. Yeah. So, yeah, and I think the six-week course is really going to be um, – it, it will provide – let me say this. It'll provide the the safety factor for those that don't want to, you know, get called out from stage, you know, to really grow themselves. But at the same time, it's going to create that that discomfort factor in pushing you out of your comfort zone to to really grow. Because it's going to be a responsibility to show up, you know, to be attentive. But it's going to help you totally boost yourself into where you need to be for success. And that's the whole goal of it is to take. Let's take this and let's make it more point. You know, instead of a book that you that you read and you highlight parts of, and maybe you fell asleep. You know, trying to read it at certain points. You know, because we all. I mean, I, I have a busy life. In fact, I've I've contemplated writing a a book jokingly called you know, my toilet seat education because as a father of seven kids, that's about the only time I have to read. You know, in the in the restroom. But <laughs> we all have you know we all have those moments and. And sometimes, you know, you're going to fall asleep while you're trying to read something good. And it's not because it's boring. It's just because, you know, you're tired. And that's all the time that you had to put into yourself. And that's fine. But that's the difference between a book and a live, actual, you know, webinar, seminar type of situation. That six-week course is going to be um, upbeat. It's going to be energetic. It's going to be at a time when you're focused and you're ready to engage. And it's going to be... It's going to be awesome. I look forward to it. I think it's going to be a, a game changer for a lot of people. For sure. I, I totally agree. I can't wait. I'm going to be right there in, in it with you guys, uh, those of you who are interested in doing so. And so the way you're going to find out about it is uh, two ways. One, um, I'll email you guys out some information when, when Jacob has things ready uh, to put the offer on the table. And you're not going to want to wait because there is only, there's a limited – amount of spots just in order so that it doesn't get too crowded um, and I know Jacob has like over 10,000 people on his list and we have over 40,000 people on the summit um, and I think that there's only going to be a few hundred people that are going to be allowed into the course so uh, definitely yeah. jump in when you see that when it comes up in the next couple days uh, it might even be tomorrow or Saturday and uh, pa Patricia pardon me Joyce um, had asked the question, just said, how can we be able to access the replay of this? And <laughs> I just got slightly distracted with my blue personality here. I looked over and, and Trisha um, in the chat box said, uh, it just we were asking for some engagement before. And, um, and Patricia said, uh, the, uh, it's too cold to get out of my, get out of under my blanket to do anything more than just type this, love this though. And then I said, where are you in Canada? And she said, no, I'm in PA, which I'm presuming Pennsylvania, it's freezing here. So must be like Canada. Um, I just thought that was funny. <laughs> but back to Joyce's question, which is where is it going to be? So I, I really want to keep reminding you all that this is your members area um, where you can go into um, and keep logging into. There will be a section in here. It'll be another tab probably just below digital downloads, and it'll be bonus coaching calls. And then you click on bonus coaching calls, and it's going to look very similar to uh, – let me do this here on um, the days 1 to 14 – um, it'll look very similar to this, okay, uh, where you'll be able to click on bonus coaching calls and then it'll be December or I'll just line them up. It'll, it'll look very similar and then it'll have a video if there is a video, which there is for Jacob's call here tonight. But, I mean, it's really just me navigating and showing some of his uh, – stuff on the website uh, but some of the presenters are lining up some actual PowerPoint presentations for you guys and going through a little bit more um, but I think the audio really just from what we talked about tonight Jacob is is more than enough to really continually remind people of how they can get more out of your out of your work so that answers the question hopefully um, where you guys will be able to access it will always be in here remember that you guys are getting free access to this bonus coaching um, <clears throat> there has been the question asked that um, are we going to offer this to people who haven't purchased the digital downloads that just want some coaching um, we've had people say well if you would do that why would people pay for it when you can go on like Jen Springer's free calls or other free calls and um, and so we have we're undecided and I don't know that we're really going to want to do that really just wanted to offer this as a big bonus for you guys um, as proud supporters of the wild success summit um, and, and keep in mind that when you're when you're investing in us and in the program we're investing in you and your future um, we're already starting to plan 2017 
And I'm going to tell you that if I have my way with my big picture mission and vision, we're going to have some really cool people as a part of the summit. I uh, want to keep bringing the value for you guys. And so um, that's my long-winded answer for you um, as to where you can find it, Joyce. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, Jacob, from your perspective, anything else that you wanted to add um, or reiterate or confirm or clarify before we wrap things up? Um, really, honestly, I, I think I've, I've said my piece, but I, I would say that if anybody has questions that didn't get a chance to ask them, um, please don't hesitate to you know jump on the website and shoot me an email. I'll be happy to answer your questions. I, I'm invested in helping people better their communication and their relationships. That is, uh, that's my, that's what I was made for. That was what I was created for. I've always been that. I was always that guy that everybody came to and said, you know, how should I approach this thing? And so I would think about it and I'd give them an answer and I'd kind of mediate between people. And and then I finally realized that that was that's my passion. That's what I was given. So I want you guys to know that don't hesitate if you if you need a question answered or anything. Uh, you need help with anything, then you know, reach out, send me an email. Um, but definitely don't uh, don't avoid this uh, this new book and and this new opportunity because I want to speak with you guys and I I want you guys to to be breathed into and to just set your lives on fire with a new newfound passion for communication. So uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out and thanks for the opportunity, Barney. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, thank you for for joining in and glad that we could, uh, you know, from all the different states, um, from Florida to potentially Vermont, Pennsylvania, um, freezing Pennsylvania, freezing Canadian, Canada, Canada, <laughs> I was going to say, and Wyoming. But anyways, uh, blessings to you all. Thanks for joining in. And the next call, um, I'm gonna, I don't even actually know off the top of my head. Um, I, we will send that out in the next email in the next 48 hours, letting you know when this recording is available. And uh, in the meantime, just make sure that you dig into uh, Jacob's uh, presentation um, here. And uh, since it's fresh in your head, it's on day five, I believe it was, and video number three. So jump in there and make sure you're watching out for the email coming your way in the next uh, couple of days about the uh, ability to be able to purchase the second book. And uh, thank you, Jacob, for taking time from your busy schedule. I know you you weren't sitting there twiddling your thumbs looking for something to do. So thank you for <laughs> blessing us with your most precious commodity, which is time, the only finite resource that once we spend, we never get back. Yes, sir. Absolutely. It was my pleasure. Thank you. All right. Well, have a great night, everybody, and uh, we will see you, as my grandpa used to say, we'll see you in the movies. Mm -hmm.